On the 26th of July, this article on the Financial Times caught my eye as HSBC had decided to cut their fixed mortgage rates. Yep, you heard that right, cut them. They're chopping them down by as much as 0.35% on some deals. And this is all after they've previously been hiking them up as a reaction to the ever-increasing Bank of England base rate. About 100 deals or so have been cut so far, and now a two-year fixed-rate mortgage with HSBC, 60% loan-to-value, is 6.14%. So why are they now cutting rates? Well, because the recent inflation data that came out last week was a little better than the market had generally expected. And now they are a little bit less worried than they were previously about further base rate hikes. Instead of them thinking we've got another 0.5% increase of the base rate on the way, they are now guessing that it might only be a smaller increase of 0.25%. This announcement will be on the 3rd of August, so not long to see if their predictions are right. Talking of predictions, it was also predicted that other lenders would follow suit in the coming days, and sure enough, here you go. Nationwide, Barclays and TSB did exactly that and followed suit with rate cuts, along with some smaller lenders too. Before we get too excited, I should point out that not everyone is dishing out better deals. Santander and the Clydesdale Bank, for example, are still increasing the rates on their deals, so they obviously see it a bit differently. But I think there's probably a little more to this than just lenders reacting to the base rate changes and their expectations on what happens next. Housing market demand has slowed, an obvious byproduct of mortgages being so, so much more expensive than they were. And there's a degree of lenders chasing this falling customer demand. I think some of these rate cuts are just them making sure they've got competitive deals. After all, they need to lend money to make money, and perhaps they'd raised them too much too quickly previously. Talking of the housing market, another date for the diary will be the 7th of August when Halifax will publish their latest UK house price index data, which the industry is often quick to look to. The last data was that house prices in June were 2.6% lower than the same month 12 months ago. I wonder if this situation has got worse. Apparently, around 36% of prospective buyers hoping to move within the next two years have put their plans on hold due to this chaotic mortgage market. That's going to have an effect on house prices. This fast-paced, constantly changing mortgage market is a real challenge for those of us with mortgages, although many people are still protected on old fixed-rate deals from a kind of time. When it's remortgage time, all this pain awaits. The best advice I can give you is to not bury your head in the sand and use one of the many online calculators that's out there. Here's one from Halifax as an example where you can see what your new payments might look like. I know it's ugly, but it's better to know what you're facing head on, no matter how challenging it might look, so you can start to at least plan for it. If I can offer some potentially good news, most industry people think mortgage rates have gotten about as bad as they're going to. As I mentioned earlier, lenders are already pricing in another base rate increase of 0.25%, and despite this, the deals are still coming down in price. But although it might not be getting any worse, it's also felt that these rates of 6% or so are probably here to stay for the foreseeable. So if you're thinking of holding out in the hope of getting back down to 1% or 2% rates in the next few months, think again. I posted this video just the other day looking at whether you should still be investing, Saving cash instead with these new higher interest rates or maybe paying off a chunk of your mortgage to avoid these new higher costs. Or if that doesn't take your fancy and you want my take on the housing market and why I think most people are probably wrong about it, then there's this one. As always, thanks for watching.